Unlocking English. Mastering modal verbs for ability. Hello and welcome to another enlightening episode in our Grammar Fundamentals series. Today, we're diving into a very intriguing and essential part of English grammar, modal verbs. Not just any modal verbs, we're focusing on those specifically used to express ability. Strap in as we embark on this fascinating journey to make your English skills even more impeccable. Before we focus on modal verbs for ability, let's take a brief detour to understand what modal verbs are. Modal verbs are auxiliary verbs that express necessity, possibility, permission, or ability. They add additional meaning to the main verb of the sentence and are always followed by a verb in its base form. The most common modal verbs include can, could, may, might, shall, should, will, would, and must. Now that we've defined what modal verbs are, let's focus on their specific use for expressing ability. This category primarily includes can and could. We use can to express something that is possible or someone's ability to do something. For example, I can swim means I have the ability to swim. Could is the past tense of can and can be used to express ability in the past. For example, I could swim when I was a child implies that as a child, you had the ability to swim. Do remember, could is not only used for past abilities, it's also used to express a less certain present ability. Like, I could help you if you need, means I am able to help you, but it's less certain whether I will. Understanding these verbs is one thing, but it's quite another to use them correctly in sentences. Let's look at some examples. She can play the guitar. Present ability. He could read when he was three. Past ability. I could join you for dinner if I finish work early. Less certain present ability. Pay attention to the verb that follows the modal verb. Notice it's always in its base form. Well, there you have it. A comprehensive introduction to modal verbs for ability. Remember, can and could are your go-to modal verbs when you wish to express ability. Practice forming sentences with these verbs, and in no time, you'll find your English communication skills enhanced. Keep practicing, keep learning, and we'll meet in the next video where we'll delve deeper into the exciting world of modal verbs. Until then, Happy learning!